fellow members of the Yale Political Union. This is my last opportunity to address you from the Crown Street office as your president. I am grateful that you have given me the privilege of leading this union and for the opportunity to work with you to achieve the renewal of this union's cohesion and strength. As a result of our teamwork, the light of progress has shone brightly upon our union. Over this past term, we have lowered membership dues by the largest margin in three decades and have sought to make the Yale Political Union more inclusive and more accessible to all. We have brought 14 guest speakers to our union to join in our dialogue and debates, including Governor Bobby Jindal, United States Senator Cory Booker, and Mayor of Jerusalem, Nir Burkat. With nearly $320,000 in financial assets across bank savings and endowment investments, the Yale Political Union now stands upon its sturdiest foundation in its 83 years of history. Its membership is more numerous than it has been in over a decade, and it has more active institutional partnerships than at any prior moment in time. I am pleased to be able to pass on to a new president an expanded Yale Political Union that is fully equipped for future vitality and success. Tonight, I offer to you three reflections upon the strengths that ought to guide this union forward throughout the years to come. Firstly, this union must always continue to be a nonpartisan forum for free speech and discourse. This Yale political union stands unique in its ability to encompass diverse ideologies of the political continuum while providing impartial leadership to Yale and beyond. And no external or internal partisanship can be allowed to jeopardize this foundational commitment. Secondly, this union must continually choose leaders who are capable believers in its mission. The union can never excel if its core of officers is not excellent or if its leaders lack confidence in its objective. The constituents of the Yale Political Union deserve nothing less than leaders who devote the fullest extent of their time and talent to this union's success. And lastly, the members of this union must not lose sight of the long and treasured history of this institution. Since acceding to the presidency, I have ensured that nearly three decades worth of muddled Yale Political Union archives have been read, systematized, and transferred to the secure collection stored by Yale University Libraries, where these irreplaceable materials can be preserved and accessed for generations to come. The rich and varied history of the Yale Political Union is no longer known to most of its members. Learning this history will be crucial to enabling future members of the Yale Political Union to sustain the purpose for which this union has persevered throughout the decades of its existence. It has been the honor of my time at Yale to serve as your president. This union has transformed throughout its 83 years of history as it has been transferred from the stewardship of one president to the next. But the objective of the Yale Political Union and its simple message of honesty and dialogue and of integrity and ideals is readily known by all who have beheld it throughout its lifespan. I leave this presidency in the highest of spirits, filled with even more optimism and enthusiasm than when I first arrived at Yale. This union now charts its course forward under the new leadership of the days ahead. My time in this office is now over but the mission of this union continues onward. In the years ahead, there will be no cause that we ought to pursue more devotedly than to have the seeds of goodness and learning be sown by our dialogue and our deeds. Thank you, God bless you, and may God bless the Yale Political Union.